up everyone it's Emily welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be teaching you how to ace your lab practicals study routine is creating a study schedule and if you want to know more in detail how I do this I cover that in my prepping for a week of exams video which I will link up in the iCard I think it's right there I'm not sure but I'll link it up in the iCard so here is what my study schedule looks like for this upcoming lab practical after I'm done creating my schedule I begin my studying so the first thing I do is I start out by labeling diagrams of the um, material that I have to know on paper. So I just label these multiple times. And the lab practical that I am studying for is an anatomy and physiology one. This could be used for other labs like biology and all that other stuff. But um, the specific exam I'm studying for is for A and P2. My professor gives us packets to study from, so I usually start off by labeling the diagrams in those packets. But if I need to, I will go to the internet to find more diagrams and things to practice labeling on. understanding of the diagrams, I'll start to move to the concepts and the functions that go with those diagrams. I start off by studying the material that is in the packets that my professor provides. There are many different studying methods that you could use, but I always find it helpful if I write out the concepts and functions and talk them out to myself. I usually do this on a whiteboard, but whatever you have, it could be paper, chalkboard, whiteboard, or even just um, writing them out like on an iPad or something, whatever you have to write on will do. And then after that, I move in to reading the lab manual and taking notes on it and I make sure that I work through anything that confuses me. After I have a good understanding of everything, I'll start to apply that to actual models. If you can get your hands on actual models, that would be ideal. In the case I'm in now, I don't have access to real models, which does kind of stink, but um, there are a lot of resources online that you can use that will have pictures of models in like 3D images of models that you can use to work through finding all of the structures on. There are videos on YouTube and pictures that you can look up to study from. So for an example, if I typed in brain anatomy model and search that on YouTube, then a video would probably come up that has somebody pointing to each of the structures and naming them. And those are really helpful because it's like the closest you can get to that hands-on experience with the model. studied all of the material, I put it to the test by looking up practicals online. I can usually find some on Quizlet or by looking up them on YouTube. So 
you can just look up brain anatomy lab practical and usually you can get a good one where people are like pointing to it and then they'll give you some time and then um, they'll show the answer like a few seconds later. So that's a really good way to test your knowledge and see if it's really sticking and if you're able to apply the stuff that you've been studying. tips helpful and I'm telling you if you try these out and you stick to them you will be setting yourself up for success and you will do great on your exams so please try it out let me know how it goes and if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you want to see more videos like this then subscribe down below and comment down any ideas you have for future videos and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>